Hi students. Today we study about ER diagram. ER diagram means entity relationship diagram. Here we shall discuss the following concepts: introduction, entity set, attributes, key attributes of an entity type, strong and weak entity type, entity relationships. participation constraints and one er diagram for student database let's start by introduction er diagram is a detailed logical representation of the data er diagram has three principal components entity set attributes and relationships Here are some symbols which we use to make ER diagram. Here we had completed introduction. Now we move on to the entity set or we can say it entity type. Entity to study about entity set first we should know about entity what is entity entity can be a person place object event or any concept here we had given entity with physical existence like person car and book an entity with conceptual existence like university course and account i hope now you should understand about what is entity now we move on to the entity set entity set is a collection of entities that have common properties like book is an entity but a collection of book is known as entity set or entity type so far we had seen two concept introduction and entity set now we discuss about attributes attribute is a property of the entity here employee is an entity and employee have property like name age address and salary and this is our entity types of attributes there are six types of attributes simple attribute composite attribute single valued attribute multi valued attribute derived attribute and null attribute let us discuss about these types of attributes briefly simple attribute simple attribute cannot be further divided and represents the basic meaning here first name and last name are examples of simple attribute because it can't be further divided and as well as it has basic meaning composite attribute composite attribute can be further divided into smaller units and each unit have specific meaning if we see here name can be divided into smaller units like first name and last name and they both have specific meaning now our next attribute is single valued attribute 
as name specified these attribute have single value for a particular entity age is the example for the type of attribute multi valued attributes these type of attribute have more than one value for a particular entity for example skill attribute for employee because employee can have more than one skill derived attributes these attribute can be derived from the stored attribute for example if we see a here for employee entity employee year is the derived attribute because the year of service of an employee can be determined from the current date and the date of joining of employee last type of attribute is null attribute sometimes a particular entity may not have an applicable value for an particular attribute for example apartment number attribute is only applicable for apartment building address but not for bungalows addresses so far we had seen introduction entity set and attribute now we move on to the key attributes of an entity type key attribute of an entity type key attribute is an attribute whose value is unique for an individual entity set for example roll number is unique for students now we see our next concept that is strong and weak entity types strong and weak entity type strong entity type contains a key attribute so it is independent entity set whereas weak entity type does not contain a key attribute so it is not independent entity set if we see in pictorial representation employee is a strong entity type because it contains employee number as a key attribute and dependent is weak entity type because it has no key attribute now we discuss about our next concept entity relationships entity relationships it connects two or more entity sets like student opts the course so opts is the relationship between two entities that are student and course degree of relationship degree of relationship is the number of participation of entity type relationship between two entities is known as binary relationship relationship among three entities is called ternary relationship and relationship among n entities is known as nary relationship relationship cardinality based on the cardinality binary relationship can be further classified as one to one relationship one to many many to one and many to many one to one relationship each entity have exactly one related entity here we had given the example of college and principal one college have at most one principal and 
one principal can be assigned to only one college one to many relationship in this entity a can be associated with any number of entities in b but entity in b is associated with at most one entity of a if we see example one department can appoint any number of faculties but one faculty member is assigned to only one department many to one relationship in many to one relationship first entity is associated with at most one entity of second entity whereas second entity is associated with any number of entities of first entity here we had given the example of students and course any number of student of one course but one course should be opted by a particular student many to many relationship entities on both side can have many related entities on the other side for example one faculty member can be assigned to many courses and one course taught by many faculty member here we have completed our six concepts now we discuss about our next concept participation constraints participation constraints it is of two types total participation and partial participation when all the entities from an entity side participate in a relationship it is known as total participation it is represented by double arrow and when it is not necessary to participate all entities then it is known as partial participation now we we'll see er diagram for student database er diagram for student database In this diagram there are five entities student course guardian department and faculty and all entities have their own attributes if we see for student entity we have three attributes roll number name and address in which roll number is the key attribute and relationship between entities are like student of scores student has guardian etc this is a complete representation of entity relationship diagram for the student database Thank you.